All right. Well, I guess by now everyone has had the chance to see what's going on in the news. Even my dogs uh, sound like they're weighing in on this. Anyway, recently Hillary Clinton uh, was indicted, or not, not indicted, I'm sorry. It was announced that she was under investigation again concerning um, some emails, some related emails. Um, first of all, I think that it's a shame that I know other people, other countries are looking at us like poor, poor America. What is going on? Um, however, I find it more of a shame that she was even given the opportunity to get this far in the campaign. Uh, that's whether she was a Democrat, Republican, or whatever. Uh, they knew they had a lot of information. It was controversial that could possibly indict her. But, you know, I think that they, they suppressed it, covered it up, looked away, whatever it is you want to call it. And it divided the country because a lot of people feel like she was uh, given a pass and there was overwhelming evidence that she was guilty. And they kind of created two justice systems, you know, one for those that um, are of power and have money and uh, then one for those that are just regular humans, you know. So um, for her to get this far and, and this all come out, you know, I don't know how much it's going to impact the election, the votes it should. For those that are, in, you know, on the bubble, um, people criticize Trump voters. Y'all going to vote for Trump with knowing that he's this and this and that. Um, one thing about Trump voters is a lot of the stuff that he's accused of, a lot of stuff we just go, I don't see it that way, I don't believe it. But it's hard for a lot of Hillary supporters to look at the stuff that she's been accused of and say, I don't believe it. Um, now, you know, when it comes, so you're just going to have to vote for her based on what you know. Like, yeah, I know she's a crook, a criminal, but I'm going to vote for her anyway. Um, so when it comes down to Director Comey, you know, he's been under a lot of scrutiny concerning this election. Um, you know, a lot of people said he didn't do the right thing, and now they're trying to flip it. You know, everybody that was on the Democratic side was saying, why are you Republican, Republicans whining? I mean, uh, Director Comey, he was well-respected, and then all of a sudden he, you don't, he don't give you the verdict you want, and then you guys get mad. We respect his decision. You know, of course you respect it when he let Hillary slide. Now they're all going... Why is he investigating this at the last second with 11 days left to election? And I'm going, why don't you respect his opinion now? Um, if he has information that is crucial, uh, it is his job to release this information no matter what time it is. In fact, if he was to wait until the election was over and then produce this information, then he would come under even more scrutiny for burying the information and kind of not giving the voters a chance to look at what was going on and make a good educated decision when they vote. But one thing to consider is when you have a director um, of the FBI bringing this information out with 11 days left in the election process, he knows that he's going to take a lot of heat if this information was not serious, if this information was just whatever. And if he was to go so far as to let her slide on all that other stuff, what makes you think he's trying to set her up now? Um, obviously, this is not an attempt to help her lose because it looked like he was trying to help her win by covering up all the other information and not recommending charges be brought towards her. So for him to come out and say, we're reopening investigations based on pertinent information pertaining to the case, then that's what it must be. It must be something serious enough to where if it came out later that he did not bring it out, he would discredit the FBI, his own career, and so on and so forth. So I think that um, as a voter, we need to really look at this. And not just as somebody who supports Donald Trump, but just moving forward. If something happens, like say she goes and gets elected anyway, knowing that this is pending, and she gets indicted and i don't you know christ kept i don't even know what happened in that process but say the <laughs> the vice president takes over i mean who is this i don't even know his name is it kane i mean do we really want kane to run the country i mean even if you don't like donald trump if if he for whatever reason was to get um you know taken out of office at least we got mike pence i mean i like mike but kane 
you know, so <laughs> yeah, think like that. We're going into an election where this stuff is going to follow her right into the um, office if she was to be elected. And um, that would be a crap storm. So we're going to see what happens. This is interesting. This is like watching a, a, a episode of Scandal or um, House of Cars or something. This is some real interesting stuff. But, um, but Donald Trump did call this one. He said uh, it was bad judgment on Hillary Clinton uh, with Aberdeen and my man Anthony Weiner. And he said, you know, that's bad judgment. Who knows what kind of information was shared to Weiner with Aberdeen. And um, a lot of people will be like, ah, Donald Trump just making up stuff. A lot of stuff he called happened. So he's not too far off the mark when people are talking about, ah, oh, he don't know what he's doing. I mean, sometimes you got to go with your gut. And if your gut's right, I'll take that over, quote, unquote, years of experience in politics. And yet a lot of your decisions are just poorly made. Just uh, food for thought, but this is interesting. Let's see what happens.